just the three of us. Output capture. Yeah. Yeah. We all got those ones from John and yeah. Judy. Yeah. Well, the problem is it's full. Oh, <laughs> because all your dice misbehave. Yeah. And, and they still roll, roll, low roll. So uh, I need like a five gallon bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you all got that? Yeah. I didn't get one. From John and Jenny? You didn't get a dice deal? You I did not. To? I did not get one. Maybe because they were your secret Santa? Oh, that's true. That's true. I got cool stuff, so I ain't going to complain. <laughs> <laughs> not that the dice jails aren't cool, but I got cool stuff. Yeah, you did. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, Dingbat was mine, and I got a bunch of minis and some dice I actually need to eat. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Nice. Oh, that's not the Twitch I want to be on. All right, yeah, we're actually starting soon. It's up there. Sweet. It's working. Always good. Oh my. <clears throat> uh, did you change the title? Yeah, okay, you did. I, uh, I did that ages ago. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, when I was grabbing the string key, that's when I did the. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I don't have any of the sound effects or anything built in. So, Fraley, how are you doing? <coughs> I'm trying not to cough right now. So, considering the, uh, the subjects, is it just the con or are we talking anything else? I mean, I, I, I know con stuff. <coughs> okay. The title is Blue Box Con Plan and Chat. Perfect. I mean, what is a what's Josh's new character's name? Uh, Rasmus. Oh yeah, Rasmus. Right. Uh, actually, hold on one second, and I will, it'll pop up in the chat. I'm doing good, Fraley. My cough won't go away, but other than that, I'm doing good. There you go. Uh, I'm not in there. One second. <laughs> I edited it last night. <laughs> okay. You gotta send it again because okay. now I'm in there. Okay. Rayhawk party. There you go. Oh. Bram, bram, bram. I'm updating the questionnaire sheet. And, uh, oh, right. <laughs> and I had to add in another name for Josh. Yeah. <coughs> the list just gets longer. Yes. Yes. He does have a couple of names. So who are these characters on the D&D Beyond thing on this thing? That's from one of the one shots. Uh, uh, I can't remember. How do I make it go away? There's So it says, see the thing on the D&D Beyond interactive overlay? You can click the little slider next to visible. And it'll I, go away. I don't have that. So if you hover over to the <gasps> right there side of the screen, click it. Turned it, it invisible. There you go. Whoa, wait, explain this to me. Oh, son of a so, gun. So, uh, if you're in on your computer, yep. if you hover t toward the right side of the um, yep. screen, uh, you should see the little black and red B and then the, yep. the prime thing. Uh, click the black and red B. Yep. And then you can click the visible off uh, so that the, the overlay doesn't keep popping out. Did they just update that because that's been no, there it's for been, so long it's been there but it's you you can turn it off it's been that way for as long as i've known i usually turn it off when i'm doing greyhawk evening oh, smoking and dm must have had it off and mystical unicorn painting nope. <laughs> that's my sing song right. oh, voice I, need to, I liked it um i need to share our that we're live because people need to know people yeah. do know they're here well, more people need to know. Mm. 
millions of people. People for me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's peaches, but... It <laughs> is. I'm sorry I have no music going, peoples. Uh, I was not supposed to be hosting it. <laughs> we, we, we're, we're working with what we got. <laughs> Actually, I could pull up... Uh, Hold on a sec. Um, All right, we have our new emotes. That's new emotes. Very emotional. Woo. Chat. I just Look want at them all. Something chill. Something like, like this. How does this sound? No, I don't want one with ambience. Oh. No, no, that one's not going to work. I don't like that. They oh. don't? Oh, no. What's wrong? Amanda said the dragon head and fire don't show up on the mobile version of the app. That sucks. Oh, that's no good. There we go. Wait, maybe it just is going to take them longer to show up. Because the purple logo just started showing up for me today on desktop. Okay. So, maybe? I love the new emotes. They're so good. That was Mike Disney and Tea Time with Taryn and Patros. Who we should thank for these beautiful emotes. So, thank you all. Okay, so I added it, but you're not going to work? Is that what you're telling me? I mean, that's usually how it goes. Hello! Welcome! Oh, because I'm a numpty. Okay, I want to apologize now if this gets really loud. But this is me just... Figuring life out. Yes, yeah, so I'm able to open it. Gosh, my list is getting long. <laughs> Okay, so that obviously is not the right channel. Yeah, it's C. Why won't you capture? Well. Well, I don't know. I tried. It's really loud in my ears, but it's not coming through. I hear, uh, what is it, American Pie? No, that's a movie. What? It's also a song. <laughs> okay, it is the song I'm thinking of then. That's what I hear. The day the music died, that's what I hear. Just that's silent. coming out of your own ears then. No, cause... there's nothing playing because music died. Oh, oh, I, uh, I, I, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> this is why I don't play Bart. There ain't no charisma here. <laughs> oh, that was ugly. Um. Yes. Hmm. No, I don't know. All right, am I ready to 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 go, Evelyn? Yeah, we 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 can go live now. Okay, here's our transition. It's not very exciting. I'm sorry. Here we are. It's us. It's it's us. Is, uh, is, on uh? all my stuff is backwards. Well, Hello, VV. Okay. That goes down there. That goes down there. Hello, we're talking about stuff today. Evelyn's leading us. Am I? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know I was leading us, so that's cool. It's great. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Blue Walk. Uh -uh. 
Nope, 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 <laughs> nope. Uh, welcome to Blue Box RPG. We are uh, live with Lord Masters Arcanum. Um, we're talking about Blue Box Con, this year's Blue Box Con, and the uh, plan uh, ahead for that. So, uh, yeah. Welcome. And uh, <coughs> get hyped for Blue Box Con in 2022. Uh, May 13th to the 15th is what's coming up. So, um, I'm going to let Terry kind of talk a little bit first about uh, kind of how the registration stuff is set up and TTE and how you can register and do all that fun stuff. And then we can just kind of chat as we go. So that sounds good to me. All right. Yep. All right. So I just screwed. Gosh, I screwed that up. We're going to bring this back over there. I feel like John right now. Um, (laughs) (laughs) There we go. There we go. All right. So if you haven't been to the website, um, I'm going to highly encourage you to go to the website and I'm going to put the link right there in chat. That was weird. I could hear myself for a second in chat. And it's got lots of information about blue box con May 13th to 15th. And you're right. I haven't killed a player yet. So I'm not quite like John. (laughs) um highly encourage oh yes no like supremely encourage and as you can see here on the site this is going to be bigger than last year or at least that's our hopes uh uh hopes hopes, springs eternal hopes and wishes (laughs) (laughs) um i there's been a little bit of confusion with exactly how to get registered and so i wanted to kind of clear that up um, the way registration works for this is interesting. It's not ideal, but it works. And so if you are looking to register for the con, you look up here and you can see attend and you click down to get your badge. Now, what the badge is, is the badge says that you're going to attend the con. Okay. And there's two types of badges. Unless you're Rory, then I had to make a third type of badge just for him. <laughs> um, but there are two types of badges. You get Rory. And they are the Blue Box Con General Attendee and the Blue Box Con General Attendee plus one shot spots. And what that means, a Blue Box General Attendee, you can attend uh, Blue Box Con. You can um, watch the one shots that are happening at Blue Box Con. You can um, hang out with all of the wonderful people, uh, Liar's Dice. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, there's a, there's a food truck, which is important. I'm going to bring that up oftentimes. Okay. Yeah. Food trucks always important. And then the second one is the blue box con general attendee and one shot spot. And uh, literally it's five bucks and you can be a part of any of the one shots, uh, that are still available because not all the one shots are still available. We'll talk about that in a second. And so when you go through this process, you pick one or the other and you click buy. You put your information in here. There is a question here uh, to check to see if you're willing to be live streamed uh, because some of our one shots are going to be live streamed here on Blue Box uh, our, uh, Twitch. Mm-hmm. And you fill this out and you're going to add it to cart. Okay. And I'm not, I'm, I'll add to cart for now. I already have my ticket. Oh, yeah. I have to answer this question. All right. And then you'll see here you have checkout or buy tickets, okay? Tickets are for the specific one shots. So I'm going to click buy tickets. And what you'll see is that each of the one shots you can buy or get. Now, these are also mini painting sessions by our wonderful and our very own Mystical Unicorn Painting. There are three sessions, session one, session two, and session that's supposed to say session three apparently it says session two okay so there's three sessions and for the one shots you just get there no cost you've already paid the five dollars to be a part of the one shots if you got the uh blue box con badge and the uh one shot so a total of ten dollars okay and then you're gonna get uh, now you'll see some of these are already full uh, one shot hosted by Josh, full. Streamed one shot hosted by John, full. Uh, stream one shot hosted by Evelyn, full. And streamed one shot hosted by Terry, full. 
Okay. But we still have spots in the one shot hosted by Mike. We've got spots in the one ho one shot hosted by Rory. We've got spots in the streamed one shot hosted by John. And we've got spots in the one shot hosted by Robert. Now, before you and, and uh, one shot hosted by Lee. Now, before you select any of them, you can individually click on them. So I just clicked on this one. You can see who's already in this one. So Jeff and Mike uh, are in the one by Robert. Okay. Uh, I'm going to click that back button. Uh, or you see this one, the streamed one shot hosted by John. This is at 2 p.m. on Blue Box Con day one. You'll see right now only Sean's in it. So there's definitely space there. Okay. And then of course you've got your mini painting sessions. So five at 10. Now these cost money because you're going to get things with them. Uh, and and uh, you're gonna get a mini, you're gonna uh, get some brushes, a little bit of paint. And so there is a cost, it's $5. So like the most you're gonna pay to attend this is $15 total cost, okay? Um, you can see, like I said, there's five of 10 already taken in the first session. Uh, two of 10 already taken in the second session and all spots are open and currently in the third session. <coughs> Excuse me. So once you click that, that'll add it to your cart. And then the easy part, you just check out and you'll have your badge and you'll have your tickets. You can look, uh, all of these will have the day and the time. So Blue Box Con Day 1, that is the Friday. Blue Box Con Day 2, that is the Saturday. Okay. Um, if you're really interested in being in a streamed one shot, there's only one left and there's only three spots left. So make sure you get those spots quickly. And they're with the wonderful John. He knows how to kill your characters. Just ask Josh. And... That is how you order your tickets. Now, you'll notice on the home page, we do say 13th through the 15th. That is because on the 15th, we are heading to the Tennessee Renaissance Festival. Oh, wait a minute. I have a link on that page. I don't even have to look it up. It's right here. Day two and then day three. Now, this obviously is a separate cost. They do not have their 2022 running dates up. You know, I feel bad because Michigan's already got their Tennessee Renaissance Festival running dates up. But, you know, Michigan is, is a pretty good state. And so, and so um, eventually when these come up, you'll be able to buy your tickets here. I think, Evelyn, what were they, $25 last year? Um, I think so. That sounds correct. Okay. I believe so. You know it, Art of Mike Disney, Michigan number one. See, I know, I know Mike Disney is in Michigan, and so that works for us. <laughs> okay. And so, yeah, so this is the Ren uh, Festival uh, that you will be attending on Sunday. Now, obviously, you don't have to attend that. Not mandatory. Uh, the $15 does not go to that, okay? Mm -hmm. That is a separate cost. But I will tell you, last year, it was fun. Yep. Moose, that's the one I'm going to in Holly, Michigan. I'm stoked. I've already been looking at them. One of them's uh, an Irish theme weekend. So <clears throat> right now I'm eyeing that one. And then on this site, is there anything else? Oh, you can then you can see your schedule once you've got your yeah. tickets and stuff. So, for example, uh, wait, May 13th through the 19th. No, we need. Yeah, OK, 13th, 14th. OK, good. Why are none of my things showing? Are you logged in as you? Yeah. That's weird. That I should know be I showing. <laughs> select a badge at the left. Oh, oh, I have to select my badges. So you have to select there your you badge at the left. <laughs> and it shows you. Like, look at me. I mean, on Saturday from 1 p.m. until actually 11.30 p.m. because I'm doing <laughs> that one shot. I'm in one shots all day. Because I'm a glutton for punishment. But that's why on Friday, I'm only doing one thing. That way I can hang with people on Friday and be in Josh's one shot, Evelyn's one shot, and then host my one shot. I don't know why I have a second. Oh, the second ticket is I haven't bought it. It's the one in the cart. Um, let's see. And then the venue. We, we have our venue. Uh, no, that's not that. 
on the main page, we have our address of where you'll be going. Real easy to find. Uh, if you have questions, there's an email and a phone number you can call. And that is, that's this. <clears throat> we don't need no stinking badges. Did I forget anything on this, Evelyn Roy? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, the, there's the when you're purchasing that, it's all in chronological order, right? Yep. So, yeah. if you want to see the itinerary, the schedule, it's it's there. Yeah. Well, yeah, and you can look. You can look at the it. schedule like this if you just click on events schedule. Bink. Oh, I suppose it's probably a more convenient way, right? Before, well, then you can see everything at once. <laughs> yeah, before you order stuff, you can see it yeah. right here. And it so. gives you your durations, right? So, you know, you can see, you know, the streamed one shots, I think, are all three hours and the non streams are all four hours. Mm -hmm. um, there will be cast interviews occurring mm -hmm. um, like 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. on um, Friday. Along with photographs. So if you want to get your photograph taken with any of the cast members and or John and anybody else, there's a Time Lord's mm -hmm. Wife raid. <laughs> <clears throat> Time Lord's Wife should really be resting her throat so that she can be in a certain session on Monday. But that's just me. <laughs> I'm just saying. No shade there. No shade at all. We kind of need Siri. Um, <laughs> thank you for the subs as well. Thank you, folks. But the great thing about Blue Box Con is not so much the one shots. I mean, those are fun. Mini painting's going to be great. Liar's Dice, fantastic. Food truck. Okay, wait. It is a little the bit about truck. the food truck. It's always about the food truck. <laughs> but it really is kind of hanging with everybody and chit chatting and getting to know all these people that we only ever see via, um, Twitch handles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there will be board games. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking about bringing my, um, I've got a couple of wonderful card games, i.e. Mm -hmm. um, uh, not Unstable Unicorns, but um, the Llamas one. Now I can't think of the name of it. I don't know. So I, th I think, though, to your point, though, is even even if if all you do is attend, you don't join a one shot you watch the one shot you play some board games whatever um yes you don't you know if, if you or feel anxious about painting although it's going to be a blast i'm signed up for one of those mm -hmm. but you don't you don't have to do those things to attend mm -hmm. right you can just come and attend and hang out and, and i agree with you terry i was in a one shot i had a blast i enjoy the food truck a lot i always have um all the other stuff, all that is watching the stuff happen, that's fun. But being able to meet so much of the community and just hang out and just having fun. Even when we went back to the hotel last last year. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, it continued. What, what happened at the con bled outside of the con. And we hung, I mean, I remember, was it Sunday night? We hung out at the hotel for quite a while after we got back from uh the ren fair the yep. ren fair yeah and it was yes, a blast indeed. oh yeah the hangout time by the lake yeah yes. that was good uh, oh, the yeah. mosquitoes yeah. were fantastic oh yeah <laughs> big fan big fan oh yep. um oh and really for for different ages too because like skylar my son was there last year mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. last year he was 14 for that um and there was no like there was no issue however you want to take that word issue whether it was subjects discussed or atmosphere in general being involved people were inclusive to him like oh yeah it, yeah, he I mean, played in my one shot. Yeah. It was and great. So it really was, you know, if you have someone that's younger, bring them along. And and Rory, I don't know if you realize, but my my streamed one shot on Saturday night, it is the Greyhawk Awakening cast. Because it's Evelyn, it's Josh, okay. it's Vivi, and it's Mini Rory. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> I was like, oh, this this is great. 
I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. you get to find those similarities and those differences. And the one shots are not all D and D. I know that as well. Mm-hmm. I know. Um, uh, Amanda or Manda, sorry, Manda's husband Mike is running a Dungeons and Doggos yep. session. I know you're running PF two E. Yep. Um, I I know that Josh will likely run five uh, E. So we, uh, not only are they, you know, not only just D&D, but we run different editions of yep. stuff too. So you'll, there is going to be a good a bit of variety. I, I, and uh, is, is Robert doing Robert, I was going to say this is Crusades? probably going to be Castles and Crusades since that's yep. what he normally runs. So yeah, I mean, like these one shots will definitely be a variety of different things. And the mini painting, look, if you've never done mini painting before, okay. Okay, yeah, he's running Castles and I figured, Crusades. yeah. yeah. <laughs> If you've never done mini painting before, let me tell you, Amanda is the ideal person to teach you. Mm -hmm. Um, She has helped me. Unfortunately, I've been on a bit of a hiatus with some personal things going on. I have literally all my paint stuff is there waiting for me. My minis are looking at me, angry at me. Um, (laughs) But Amanda has helped me along as I've begun that journey and that hobby. And I've been super appreciative of that. And she will, like, if you've never done it before... Uh, she is a great person to have teach you, and and as as an as 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 a as a professor myself who teaches drawing and painting, not necessarily mini painting. Don't ever think that you don't have the ability to do this stuff. All you need is a good teacher. Um, I told my, in fact, this morning in my design for the theater class, I told my students when we were talking about natural, quote unquote, natural ability. And I said, look, I went into grad school not being able to draw. Uh, How I got into grad school, that's a whole other wonderful story. But I went into it not knowing how to draw. But I had one of the most wonderful teachers teach me how to draw. And as such, I'm very confident in my drawing skills. I'm not an amazing artist, but I can do my job and I can create wonderful pieces of art when I need to. And so these mini painting sessions are going to be amazing. Especially, I would say, if you've never done that before, because it's a great it's a great creative outlet to just kind of let yourself have fun. And the great thing with painting, as I tell my students all the time when we're painting scenery, is when you screw up with painting, guess what? You can paint over it. Paint over it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Until there is a point, though, when eventually you do get too much paint. (laughs) <laughs> but then it doesn't work anymore no but, yeah but in I mean, concept yeah then the mini becomes like three times larger <laughs> than it started because there's just so much pain on it right fraley <laughs> i do believe we will have 3d printers again yes um that has been discussed which i'm super excited about um because i love 3d printing as well um and i don't know who's bringing their 3d printers per se but i know a couple people have talked about it yeah I believe that is the case. Uh, there was some discussion in uh, the Discord about that. You know what I just thought about? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I, I wish I would have thought about this earlier. We really should have like sessions that deal with things like how to improv on the fly. Oh, yeah. Air, or well, how as to. Well, cr- as Blue Box Con grows, things to add. How to, how to create a character that is. That is, that is does role play enjoyable <laughs> um and how not to have them die immediately well that <laughs> answer is just don't be in john's uh, uh game at this time <clears throat> but i was just thinking about that that would be uh that would be kind of cool yeah like workshoppy type things good yeah. stuff but yeah um Let's see what like uh, what else is there to go over as Here, far i'll as throw this in the uh, chat i don't know if it'll work in the chat i'll throw it in the chat okay though. There we go. Uh, the Google Doc? Yep, the Google yeah, Doc. Works. Yep. That's so, the questionnaire. Yep, yep. Uh, if if you notice something, um, an amateur, uh, what's it? Uh, you know, jack of all trades, master of none. None. Yep. I know there's actually more to that, but we'll forget that fact that there's actually more to that saying. <laughs> um, so if there's, if there's fixes to that and you're like, right, fix this. I'll fix it. Just tell me. Just please tell me. Uh, but he, essentially, you can use that link and then submit any questions you have. Uh, I don't think I put a submission cap on there. So if you want to submit 
15 questions. You just got to open up the form a couple times. Uh, but you can pick your person so you can see I have the individual's actual name at the top and then the characters that they played. Um, and then you just check who you want to ask question one, question two, question three, so on. Uh, what that question is for, list that question down below. And then I'll take all of these because I'm running those cast interviews and make them part of that cast interview. So uh, I would love the submissions, love the questions. You guys watch the streams. Uh, so yeah, submit your questions and they'll be included. So Rory, the full saying is a jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. but the last part doesn't matter for this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you're correct. There is there is more to that, and it changes the whole concept. It does. It does. But yes, yeah, so um, yeah, it, whatever questions you might have for a cast of either group, not just a uh, Greyhawk Awakening, but for a Rune Lords cast as well, you can ask them in there, and they will get mm -hmm. asked during the cast interviews on Friday night. And that is streamed, correct? Like yes, last that, year? that will be yes. streamed. Uh, anything that it, the cast interviews will be streamed uh, as well as the the various uh, sp specified one shots. Mm. The only reason that those aren't specified as being streamed is because we're not inviting other well, they people. Are actually, if you look on the <laughs> schedule, it says streaming room. Oh, there you go. So it is on yep. there as, as a streamed event. So even on that night, you can still submit questions through the, the chat. Um, mm. But if you really want to guarantee your question be asked, throw it in the doc. Yeah. So really, the real question right now is, is why haven't you registered for uh, a Blue Box Con? What is holding you back right now? Yeah. From you registering. Know, you could throw up a poll right now. <laughs> <laughs> we love our Have polls. Have you registered yet for Blue Box Con? I could do that poll. <laughs> I say do it. Let's see. Let's let's see or not. I mean, I know the numbers because I can look at the back end. Of yes, this. I know. <laughs> but you can make it like I don't know. So I'll make it good. Now, Pat you know, draws. I I have. That's, I haven't. I'm going to. I'm not going to. That's tough because if you don't have the job, then you probably have the vacation time. <laughs> but if you have the but, job, then you probably don't have the vacation time. I'm a hermit. Okay, that's a good. That's a good reason. Yep. You know, yep. You know. Oh, but by May. Okay, I understand. That makes sense then. Okay, here, I'll just put that up yet. Yeah. I'm going to put up a poll anyways because it's fun. Have like you polls. registered? <laughs> Time difference. Well, yes, Natasha, aren't you in Iceland, I believe? Mm -hmm. That's okay. That That's, that's a like six hours. That's yeah, all. That, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, the drive would be very, very difficult. <laughs> oh phantom no kidnapping that's illegal it's, it's only kidnapping if he doesn't really want to go <laughs> there isn't room for me to land my private jet at john's house <laughs> well i mean if you've got a private jet i mean that's that's kind of nice i mean I there's there's an airport nearby <laughs> He does have a pond if you have the right kind of plane, I guess. <laughs> I know it's not a jet, but he's got a pond. And the little lake maybe can float. Yep, exactly. And I uh, I plan on um, uh, having a new outfit for the Ren Fair this year. I had already oh. figured. Oh, yeah. I'm super. Did you? You didn't have one last year, did I you? I did. It was very simple. Very simple. Mm. Nice thing about being in a theater is you can pull your own oh, costume. Some, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. <laughs> Yes, outfit for the fair. I, uh, I have my ears. My ears. my ears are sitting right there. They're coming with. I'm definitely going to be half elf again. Mine are somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I should ears. dress as Rin. That would be awesome. Got to get your wig and stuff. I know. Yeah. So the the wig is where I struggle. I don't know if any of you out there know where to find a wig that would match an Aho. But what I wear every Tuesday is actually my pirate costume from halloween nice but it works at least on camera it works i don't know how it would be in person but it works on camera stream might be going a little splotchy for a second yeah well yeah it is oh yeah yep internet is doing something let it finish its hiccup we have an even split on the poll really yep all right 
Come on, interwebs. <laughs> I have a Viking peasant outfit I made 20 years ago. <gasps> That's fun. awesome. Oh. That's awesome. Best outfits. You know, there could be... Am I... Mute? Nope. There could be a, like, a costume contest. That I don't know. Fun. I don't know if that would be something people would really get into, but I mean, we still got plenty of time to be like, "Hey." Well, we have we have more we have more meetings to do about the con, so. Well, yeah, gr granted, but um, would you guys like that kind of thing? What would you guys like to see there? We've a lot of it's in place, as you can see. But what would you like? What would make this exciting for you? Or what would what would be something you'd like to see at a future con that yes, would be either way? Because you know. We, we got a plan for 2023 after 2022. Yes. I'm planning on, on yes, karaoke on Friday night, I hope. I can do Friday night. After after the end of the <laughs> evening. Yeah. I hope. And don't forget, one of the things not in here is we're doing a 5K run. That is oh, yeah. Saturday yes. morning. Saturday yes. morning, yep. Okay. And we'll have more information as we get closer uh, regarding that. So for those of you that want to do a 5K run walk, um, I encourage you to uh, take part in that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I will tell you, I didn't start running until I was 38 and I'm 43. And honestly, because of the weather right now, I haven't done running, but... <laughs> you don't have to do it, Pedros. It's... it's yeah, you don't have it's not to run. mandatory. <laughs> Need more dragons and dinos. Okay, Wick. That's good to know. Run I, I haven't, the pond. I haven't finished planning my one shot yet, so maybe maybe I'll make that happen. No. Dragons and dinos. No. That would be fantastic. You haven't finished your one shot yet? No. I, I have been working I so much my one lately. Shot yet. No. <laughs> I got the characters made and the skeleton of the one shot. Oh right? yeah, you're so you're way ahead of me. I plan on starting right around April first. I should be good. Because mm. then see, my I had little mini me though help me with the characters. Oh, so the oh, two of us. Yeah, that's we'll enough for BBCon bid. Yes. Um, BBCon bid. Oh, that's a good idea. Scary Oki on things. Friday. Pain run on Saturday. What else? Just out of curiosity, from from watchers and attendees, what else would you like to see in future future cons? I will say that we've already started talking, and uh, as this grows, if it grows, um, we're probably going to have to move into like a hotel conference rooms, yeah, um, rather than at John's house. And so, you know, with a little more space and a little more planning. What are some things you'd like to see? Laura Rizia mud wrestling. Yeah, uh, maybe not that because <laughs> that would cost money. You know, mud in a hotel conference room is usually frowned upon. I suppose it depends on the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> there's mud in John's pond. Ooh. No, there's also geese in John's pond <laughs> yeah. and well. I think there's snapping turtles too, right? Yeah. And you're right. It is when it grows, not goes, but when it grows. Uh, yes. Uh, and it will. It will. And duck yeah. poo, no thank yeah. you. Yeah, not fans of duck poo. Mm-mm. That's 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 why I said the thing about the geese, because geese are disgusting. Yes. But yeah. We've got lots of fun stuff coming. Oh, and if anybody needs hotel recommendations as far as where to stay to be close, uh, you can always check our Discord, which I'm going to plop the link real quick. Um, but um, you can check our Discord. You can always ask in general uh, mm -hmm. chat if you know what what's the recommended places to stay. But uh, there's also um, you know I think there's probably things in there in the blue box con channel uh of the hotels and i think uh, we can also get just that posted in there soon wick you're gonna come i will just pick you up on my way down how's that sound i yes. mean that sounds that's there's, the way to do it right <laughs> there's games and chit chatting you don't have to R rp um while you're there the entire time so and yes, yes the embassy suites is kind yeah. of the 
the because that was kind of where we just generally hung out last time yeah the embassy and if you want to knock your price tag in about half the radisson's a little bit further away by the airport and hmm. there's also the in that same area there's like a holiday inn and uh the can't remember what else but there there's various the uh, hotels at various price points kind of all clustered in there by the embassy suites as well so yes it was nice <laughs> welcome and all of those hotels were, John John Sharp. The, those those hotels were fairly close to the Ren Fair too if i remember correctly yeah yeah so so to get to the renaissance vessel it's actually just go straight past john's house and keep going until you hit uh traffic Arrington <laughs> traffic yeah basically uh but yeah Arrington Tennessee is where the run fair is technically I believe is the not that makes you go I think are we doing we're doing pizza no, or something true. on Friday night. Am I correct in that? Yes. Yeah, so, so we're, uh, I believe it was discussed that, that uh, food truck is going to be on Saturday and then Friday is pizza yeah. from what I remember. And again, just a lot of chatting goes, oh, and, and giveaways. Hmm. Oh yeah. And the, I, I believe we are also doing the dice thing again, like we did dice. last year. Yep. No, no, no. The other dice thing where we oh, rolled oh. the D20, the, 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 the D20 roll off that we did last yep. year. Uh, Jenny had said something about mm. wanting to do that again this year as well. So that is likely to be, yes. So ready. bring your favorite D20. Yeah. Your best one, your weighted one, yep. your cozy gamer dice. <laughs> or just have Evelyn Rollies, roll yes. <laughs> exactly, Natasha, Rollies. You know what you're talking about. Waited. Exactly <laughs> waited. <laughs> the ones you know, with the magnets in them. Time Lord's wife, if you have some weighted dice, I am um, all for it because then I might start <laughs> rolling average rolls with weighted dice. There might be average rolls. So you're very welcome to test all of my dice, Kayla. I will bring in the whole five pound bag. <laughs> yeah. Of course, what you're going to see is all of her dice are very heavy and they just always land on 20. So. No, the, my resin ones are very much not. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Thank you, Fraley. I will keep that in mind. I will take a note of that right now. Yeah, I think we're setting up a tent out in the driveway for check-in and whatnot, if I remember yeah. correctly. And I believe there's a plan to actually have some more spaces out there where people can play and stuff. So. Yeah. Oh, dude, we need some cornhole boards. Do you guys do cornhole down there? I don't even know. Yeah. We, yeah. It's like huge up here in Michigan. I don't. I, don't I always know. found that name to be an odd name. But well, yeah, because you I know usually what you're use about. bags of corn. Yeah, yeah I, I understand. And you throw them in a, a hole. What are you? What are you? What are you saying, Rory? What's it? <laughs> very what's straightforward. It? What's it's it just mean, a weird Rory? name. I mean, it's just a weird name. What? That's, oh. that's all it is. Just, it's just odd. A, all right. Okay. But yes, <laughs> that's a that's a fun game. Yeah. A little bit safer than horseshoes, right? I mean, but I still like horseshoes. <laughs> lawn darts uh, is pretty fun, though, too. No, you know? lawn darts is terrible. <laughs> I remember playing that as a kid. You know, <laughs> the safest game. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Does anybody have any questions about Blue Box Con? Yeah, ask like, us questions. We're really good at answering. Yes, washers, washers is amazing. Washers is good. Wait, which um, washers? What's I mean, I know what a washing machine is. No, I should bring washers down. I, you know what? I'll do that. I'll make a new okay. set. I need a new set anyways. Oh, I know what washers balls are for like, like mechanics. No, no. It's like washers. Is it a game? Yeah. It oh, is. interesting. You, you, you throw half inch washers into oh. coffee cans. So it really does have to do with washers. Yes. That's why it's called oh. washers. I, I hear you. Yeah, but I was talking about washers. You like no? no well, yeah, but uh, well, not like washer <laughs> machine. No, like washers and like things, things you use with yes, exactly. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> there is dagger and axe talk scene at the Ren Fair. Indeed. Yes. Yep. I think and very heavy. Ar there's archery areas and yep. all that stuff. Those those double headed axes are very heavy, so just the be ready for throwing eight pounds of yep. bluntness. <laughs> The and having them ricochet back at you. Yeah, the daggers. <laughs> I was no good at the daggers, but I was very good at the axes. Yeah. 
Someone, someone threw the one of them. I don't know if it's the dagger or the knife or the axe. It's either Josh, you, or Skylar threw it way high and it stuck. Uh, that was Skylar. That? that was Skylar. <laughs> that was definitely Skylar. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yes, and the, the, the turkey legs. There are definitely. Oh yeah. John, since you're here, you're gonna need to get a set of cornhole boards with the blue yes. box logo on them. Yes. Uh, for Blue Box Con. We could do Facts. a whole cornhole tournament, too. You know, I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, the weather's nice. <laughs> wow. Please, please tell me those are foam to catch me axes. First. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you what? split it with me. <laughs> he, you have he'll to pay it directly you. to Correct. them. Correct. <laughs> I think we need, yeah. I, I mean, in the future, I have a feeling we're going to be extending the the number of days as we as we go into Blue Box Con in, in in future years. Ideally, ideally, uh, a three day plus the fourth day being Ren Fair would be perfect. It'd be perfect. Blue Box Cornhole is coming. Yes, thank you, John. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm stoked now. All right, so exciting. See, this is we get ideas just by talking to y'all. This yeah. is fantastic. It helps. And they don't have to be co like cornhole. What a simple idea. But the weather's nice. It's honestly like get out in the sun and, and have mm -hmm. some fun. Yep. See, that's the thing about May here. It's either really nice or it's raining. <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, John. Bye. Thanks for coming to visit. You gotta have something that makes blue box <laughs> John dress up like a dino. I don't think he'd appreciate that. No, very we much. should we should all come with those inflatable Tyrannosaurus Rex. Source Rex out costumes. The costumes. Yeah. And just we should walk up the driveway all at once. Just in those. That'd be awesome. I mean, if we're gonna do that, you have to play the Jurassic Park music while we do this. Yes. <laughs> well, Vivi's gonna come. She sings yeah. the song really well. Just give yeah. her a, uh, <laughs> one of those. I don't know what you call it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Part of the, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna bring my cameras again and take a bunch of pictures too, so yeah. that we have lots of pictures for people. We definitely need oh, yeah. some. And if we get trailers. a, uh, if we get a, uh, what do you call it? Like a, whether we use the same Google Drive, a different one, different, whatever, some cloud source, and uh, put that out ahead of time. Everyone that wants to can upload your photos. Yeah, and that way we we, we can share them too. Yeah. With I people. I think John was talking about merch but i don't know if he was talking about pre-orders that's a great idea uh that was mentioned uh by someone in discord i think it was pat 66 maybe who suggested doing yes. merch pre-orders so that they could have everything there ready to go for anybody who might want stuff no. uh and then you know know exactly the right numbers of either enoch things. kill all but yeah, that that was discussed. I don't. Uh, I have a feeling that would make Jenny's life a lo little easier as oh, far yeah. as <laughs> that goes. So hopefully, yeah. blue box crochet dinos. Oh <gasps> yes, really? Ah! I like I, that. I'm very excited about that, Vanda. <laughs> That's nice. And yes, it was past sixty-six. Okay, Every I thought it was. Everybody needs a dino in their life, especially blue box dino specifically. <laughs> You hey, know, Roy, why don't you share the uh, question link again just for people who are just okay. coming in? Oh, yeah, and I will put the TTE. There you go. The TTE link for registering for Blue Box Con is up as well. So if as you I that share this, I will remind everyone that a handful of glitter makes everyone happy when you attend the con. That's just not, keep that's... it away from the streaming room and we'll be yes, fine. Yes, keep it away from there. That is definitely not a true statement. <laughs> Especially you know, when you throw it on Terry's car or in his car. No. 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 <laughs> that's, that'd be a hashtag no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> because last year he rode in my car. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think it's a great idea, Rory. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, glitter. glitter's bad. Yeah. Oh, and no. put up the link. Um, oh, no, that was the link. You did. You put I did the CT link. and he put up the Google Doc one. So yeah. they're both there. Okay. All right. I feel like there was some another link we put up earlier, but it, maybe I'm just... I don't know. I put up Discord, but, you know, oh, yeah. I can always pop in again later. Most, most of these lovely folks are already in our Discord because they're 
they 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 know where the cool people hang out. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, I am in process to um, f for our interviews. Uh, I plan on uh, role playing as Taldar. Uh, mm. I am in a body lengthening, uh, uh, currently uh, body lengthening. Um, uh, 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 You're being stretched. Yes. Regimen? Regimen. That's what I was looking for. There you go. <laughs> um, so we'll see if we can get there uh, by May. I'm not sure. We'll see He's what we can do. Six three. He's six, six four. four. Yeah. It's I mean, good only, luck. <laughs> look, it's only eight inches, and so uh, I think I can do it. Are you also going to answer questions like him? Yeah. With grunts and single word responses. <laughs> See, the way I figure it is, what whoever the question is asked to, right? So if it's asked to Laura or if it's asked to Millie, yes, then that's the. Re voice we responded gotcha so i gotta i gotta make sure i have all my like voices yeah. up to snuff yeah bummer gotta, for like gotta practice more your house some more yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got winston down there terry oh nay <laughs> <laughs> he just like you know pop the uh, uh pa pause at the ground when it, you know yes or no <laughs> two Sip. for yes one for no <laughs> All right. I'm trying to think of if, if, if uh, what other exciting things we can talk because we have. Well, I don't chat. know if it's actually happening or not. <clears throat> okay. But Vivi keeps talking about cooking. Yes. <gasps> That's right. That's right. I forgot about the okay. the Vivi cheese. cooking okay. lessons that will yeah. be happening. Uh, so. Wick wants to know if you're bringing the beer back. No, beard is gone for now, bud. I'm sorry. Because I got real sad this morning when I looked in the mirror and realized that more of my hair on my head is gray now than it was before I cut it. And so I just, I'm afraid to let things grow now. <laughs> oh. You know, you dye your hair all the time anyways. I know. I mean, you know. But not all of it. I don't do the sides. I just do the top. It just Which... makes it so if you want that, like, white or silver hair it's just easier now that's all. it's just easier oh yeah no welcome to the club i appreciate that robert i'm i'm excited to be here <laughs> uh some things with the kids i've been good been trying to uh oh okay just go for the <laughs> oh man all right well while we're at it I think John's already asked this, but uh, you know, I'll throw it out there. John's not here, so you guys can really ask uh, or, or really give the, the suggestions that you're afraid to give yeah. when John's here. Like, what do you want Blue Box to do moving forward? Don't say yeah. shut down because I don't think that's going to happen. That would make me sad. Yes, that would not. And how are you? Let's be honest. How are you all More enjoying dinos. chapter two? Well, I mean, I don't get a yeah. mark on my hand. Yeah, me either. <laughs> I'm not stressed. <laughs> because your character died. Yeah. My, my, my character did not die. No, I'm I know. I know. Mine died for the reason that made sense. <laughs> I took one out with me, so that's all I care about. All right, hey, so we're looking at, at more didn't get a sword through the heart. Uh, more Monster of the Week. Okay, Robert, this is good. This is good. I'm glad you brought this up. John's not here, so we can talk and be honest. What do you mean it feels very different? And yes, I would come to Iceland in an instant. Yes. Would you go to Greenland? No. <laughs> well, that didn't work. I mean, I understand feeling very different, but I, I'm curious to hear. And what other people think? Yeah. What feels different? I mean, other than the constant death. In a world where everyone constantly died. In a world where everyone constantly dies. Only one can come to the savior of them all. I know. But he's the one who's also killing all of them. Oh, not at The all. DM. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
man. You know, I actually don't mind it that much. And it's not because I haven't died or wasn't poisoned. But it's just it's just different. I mean, the, the world is in this area is, I mean, we're not in uh, Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Well, and, and, and Robert's right. It says, by this point in chapter one, we had a better idea of what the party was all about. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, I wasn't part of the party this early in chapter one. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. The worst 10 sessions. By episode you came 10, in like yeah. Oh, was it? Was it? Yeah. yeah. Early? You, okay. you weren't. You weren't. You were. You in came in right after you Gimbal's could... death, right? Here, let no, me, I was let there for back. Gimbal's death. Let me scroll oh, back. Oh, well, then Gimbal died in like session four. You were in session seven. Seven. Okay. Of book one. So, yes. Oh, I guess You I have was. been in. Yes. Oh. All right. I just checked on our YouTube. But that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, you know, to that point, because of. Well, <laughs> the nature of the point. environment, right? The nature of this environment is more hesitant, right? The no. city, all of this, right? More yeah. dangerous. Real Astro, man. Yep, exactly. Not place. I'm and just then a... we've had three character deaths, so you got to re... Relearn everything, yeah. yeah. You got to re... Like, build that momentum, though. Mm-hmm. Pet 66 says, I'm just not attached to the group this time. I can understand that. Uh, necromantic uh, party keeps getting changed. Pet draws. That's because three of the original party had died by now, or died by episode two, and that's that's true. I mean, by episode two, we had we had fundamentally changed the makeup of the group. <clears throat> and I think it, it, it's interesting. I'll I'll be honest. I have not been playing long enough, uh, or as long as as many of those that have played. But I've never been part of a group where so many death has happened so early. What about you all? Have you guys had that? Well, they answer that. What are your thoughts on Terry My, and Evelyn? That question is for you, Rory. I was asking you. Have you had Oh, I thought you were asking them. Oh, no, no. That's for Ooh. you and Evelyn. Oh. You guys no. have played Well, yeah, I die all the time. Have. I died all the time in my previous campaigns. Yes. Okay. All, yes. I miss right. the old characters a lot. Uh, Greyhawk chapter one was one of the first D&D streams that actually held my attention for the long haul. Okay. Yeah, and uh, that makes a lot of sense, uh, Robert, uh, as far as like everybody's motivation. We all have them. It's just because of where we've come from. I think hmm. nobody's as willing to be as sharing as they were. In the, Although the we are group. starting to get there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and I think that's part of it. I think the setting has had a very large effect on us as players right Mm -hmm. because of what has happened taldar doesn't want to talk to anybody especially those that he deems from the city you wouldn't say yeah (laughs) and so you know in a situation where you know the city isn't actively trying to kill him yeah he i don't think he would have reacted the same um But yeah, it's hard to get invested in the game when the characters died so fast. Yeah. Yeah. I I think that's right. And it's hard to, I mean, let's be honest. People became attached Mm -hmm. to Chapter 1 characters because they were continuously being fed information about those characters. I mean, we knew pieces of Millie before Millie died. We knew lots of Brim. We knew lots of Gimbal. Yep. <clears throat> and in 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 a way, in 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 uh uh you know a game that streamed like this, where you do have an audience, I think those connections are important. Gimbal died, but he came back. Yeah, he he did not stay dead, thankfully. <clears throat> but there so, was a lot of there was a lot of that connection by session five when he died. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I think I think what makes me okay with everything that's going on, besides the fact of like whatever I'm just playing, uh, and I've honestly a lot of my characters have died. Whether I want to say that's a DM or me not playing my character like mechanically correct, putting it in bad situations, that's very possible too. Right. But, you know, like a weird, super weird example, but there's a show called The Ranch. 
ranch, I think, with the guy from the 70s show and the other guy from the 70s show. Anyways, the point of the story is the whole first season of this show, I hated it. The characters were like, I don't know. They just, they didn't jive with me. Plus the main character, if you think of his name, please say it because I'll fumble over it all night. But I can't stand him. Aston Kusher. Don't like the. I just, I'm not a fan of him. So the first season, first nine episodes of that show, I couldn't stand. But then the next several seasons, I absolutely enjoyed. All right. Because now we've gone 10 sessions of like, who are these? Oh, who are you? Oh, you're dead. Who are you? Oh, but now we're building that cohesion in the group. <laughs> until we die. In, until we die. But we're building that cohesion to where now it's like, okay, now there's been that character development. Now there's this understanding. And like Taldar and Anaho are talking about that trust on the battlefield, right? So how do we work together on and off the battlefield? Keeps us alive. Right. Right. You know, so I think that's coming. I think it's coming slower than the last chapter but i think it's coming right now yeah but i can't also i also can't dog on john because i like the fact he doesn't keep track of hp he might you know you might argue that a dm can kind of scale up or scale down the intensity but i like not right. tracking the hit points to not sandbag the attack right I think, though, I think to a certain extent, I don't know. When I DM, I keep track of hit points, but I don't sandbag. Like, hmm. Evelyn knows. Knocked her out on Monday night. <laughs> and so I'm not afraid. But it, I don't know. It, it's, it's an interesting conundrum for me as a DM. Oh, in chapter one, the characters grabbed us and then we got to know all of you. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I don't think we've had the chance for our characters to, not yet at least, to really become known to the audience. Mm -hmm. We haven't had that down. There's been no down. I mean, we've been pretty much going nonstop. Until last night, yeah. Yeah, that was the longest of us doing something other than trying to stay alive. And I mean, I appreciated it because it allowed us to kind of open up a little bit on our characters. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but it'll be interesting to kind of see where things go from a player perspective. Because, if, you know, as John said last night, I love those RP instances. Mm -hmm. You know, getting getting a chance to know both my character better as well as the characters that I'm teaming up with. So. This is that chat part. You know, we're just tossing it out here with Cray Cray. Evelyn, what else do we got? Evelyn is doing something very intensely. I'm having internet issues, so oh, a you're fine. So, Terry, did you happen to uh, look at that image very closely? Which one? Oh, no, it was Dagger. Uh, I looked at it on Discord. Yeah. Well, depending on how close Taldar looked at it, you might want to look at it. Taldar wouldn't have necessarily looked at it intently. Yeah, there you go. There um, you go. He would have looked at it, and honestly, he would have been like, that's too damn fancy. <laughs> that's too city folk. Yeah. 
That's exactly it. <clears throat> I mean, it, it. You know, you look at it, it's all like plushy. Like, yeah. Does your handle need to be that soft? You do you see these hands? Yes. <laughs> do you see these hands? Yes. <laughs> of course it does. Um. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's it's. I guess it's nice. Black blade's a little weird, but yeah. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I like where the stream is starting to go with the cohesion. I'm a little with confused last, why you have nice Cthulhu fire. on there, but I don't put Cthulhu on there. I don't. I barely even know that game. I know the name of that game, and that's it. <laughs> Cthulhu was before the game. H.P. Well, Lovecraft is the told author. You, this is how much I know. I do recognize that name, but literally just the name, not even only because you guys talked about it on on here, right? And because I think Vivi played in a game of it in a stream. Yes, Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, that's literally the extent. I just gave you all my knowledge. All right. Uh, Robert says, yeah, I'm hoping at some point it gets to where you're more adventuring rather than just surviving. And yeah, that's the big thing is right now we are literally just surviving. Yeah. Are the characters going to make the D&D Beyond list? Uh, different characters are currently listed. I don't know. Um, the D&D Beyond stuff does not really work for... Well, so some of some of our classes uh, aren't available in D and D Beyond, and we can kind of just yeah, and and Josh's new character. So I mean, we can kind of put placeholders based on similar things, but um, yes, Eldritch yeah, Horror, Cosmic go Horror, indeed. Um, but um, as far as like having the actual accurate classes in D, D beyond we can't really do that because some of these classes are older D, &D or pa pathfinder classes and therefore mm -hmm. uh are not available in 5e and even where there's somewhat of an equivalent like there is an equivalent to mine which would be a a ranger rogue mix mm -hmm. uh it's not the same thing right right and additionally i think you have to for, for some of the races slash classes you have to have purchased the stuff on D and D Beyond to actually be able mm -hmm. to use it in D and D yeah. Beyond. Beyond the base uh, race yep. yeah. classes. Yep. Which Indeed. is frustrating to me as somebody who is very much prefers uh, open source type stuff. So yeah, it would be nice if there were overlays other than D and D Beyond that you could use for the similar purpose. Yeah. For sharing that sort of stuff. You just gotta make it. If it doesn't yeah. exist, you just gotta make it. I am I not could, I that would. interested. <laughs> <laughs> like, but yeah, I'm sure. Someone out there. Like, like if that interested me, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. But yeah, no. No, yeah. No. <laughs> no, yeah, no. No, yeah, no. That's the that's the Michigan Michi Michigander that's starting to take hold of me where you say, Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Which so, doesn't. Go ahead. So, what would help? Like, I'm gonna ask this, but whatever. <laughs> what would help more people register? I, I don't like, like they got the link they can share. They got the link they can use to sign up and not just share. They got like, what will help you all spread the word and and what makes it interesting to you? So we know how to tell people. We want yeah. you all there. Exactly. Yeah, like that's it. That, exactly. We want you there. So like more Twitter promotion. Okay. That's good to know. That's actually I a can... great idea. That's something to put on my list because I, I do all of our social media posts. So that's a, like, if you guys have things for suggesting for so, our social media to help get stuff out, let me know because I do all of our social media. So any of that stuff that, that makes you guys more interested or like, want to get involved with just let me know and i will make it happen uh the, 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 the oh, hugs and cookies will be there if you're there we already said vivi's cooking so. oh yeah vivi's cooking no doubts uh how do we get more people to come to discord that's tougher that, that is, is tough. that's tougher and I, I i so i'm i'm gonna be a little honest with you um i'm on a lot of discords and so part of that is depending on the person, they may be following several different things on different different discords. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Like I always check into Blue Box. Mm -hmm. But I'll be honest, I'm not super active on Blue Box. And part of that is um, you know, my activity on Blue Box really is with the players and the people in uh, when we're on Twitch, etc. Um that for me is a blast. And then but but you know, I'm use I okay. tend to be more on Twitter and Instagram and things like that. Um, when I'm chatting about stuff, but to get more people on discord, the big thing is the discussions have to be interesting to those that are on discord. Right. Yeah. Robert, mm -hmm. I'm only really active probably in three at most, um, blue box being the third out of the three. Um, but yeah, you've just, you, the discussions have to be engaging mm -hmm. so to give you an example one of the uh discords that that i'm on that i read a lot on is um a pathfinder 2e1 but that's because there's a lot of talk about uh like they have categories for like rules lawyering and character creation and and so i'm bouncing through those just getting ideas of stuff and um I don't generally read the general chats of any discords that I'm on because I'm usually looking for interesting things related to something specific. So when I'm on discord for blue box, the ones that I'm usually looking at, I love looking at the mini and terrain painting ones. Um, I'm usually looking at the blue box uh, fan art and then generally the Greyhawk awakening stuff. Cause that's what you're in. <coughs> because those are mm. super interesting to me. Um, I mean, I look at the, you know, the tavern talk from time to time. Um, but, but for me, I'm usually looking for, for things that are educational is the wrong word. I don't Inform know. Informative. Yeah. Informative. We're going to expand my knowledge in some area. Yeah. What about like, so how, how, are, how is everyone with a, hey, Evelyn, I don't know if a uh, social media poll would be useful. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys would want to vote on that. I see, you know, we got 45 people here, but uh, like, what's the preferred platform? Uh, so Freddy, the that? answer to your question, let me answer Freddy's question really quick. Uh, yes, we can do polls in discord. I actually have a yep. thing. Uh, our bot does polls and I can run a poll. Hmm. Um, if there's a specific thing that like we're looking to do, we, we, like when we were actually initially asking about, I don't know if you saw, but when we were initially asking about dates for 2022's con, I did a poll. Uh, to figure out which weekend uh, would work the best for this year's con in that channel. So um, that is that is there. Uh, what is, uh, okay, so now, Rory, sorry. What were you asking? What, what platform is preferred the most as far as like- Yeah, as far as social media. So like you just got the idea, you know, uh, I think it was a uh, time was wife saying Twitter, more Twitter right. stuff, right? And, mm -hmm. you know, some of the platforms will auto post to the other ones, but- mm -hmm like maybe it's a matter of like us pushing the stuff out on our platform right and, yeah I and mean, anything whatever the that... case is like where are the where are you guys all at what do you guys like like i tend i have a platform on every platform for one of my projects but i i gear towards instagram and that's about it mm -hmm. but i can expand um and especially if that's going to help you all but it's i'm just instagram uh, we tend to see, as far as like our engagement goes, uh, it tends to be Instagram um, over Twitter, as far as like the the people that are seeing stuff. But you know, it doing it, um, you know, promotion for the con nice. specifically on both places would be useful. Yeah. And uh, you know, sharing things to our stories too. Mm. So here's the thing with 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 um, Twitter is that Twitter is about connections mm -hmm. and actively engaging with the other people that you are connected with. Mm. Um, it's it where, where Instagram for me at least, and, and, and I'm not saying this for everybody for me at least, and I go on Instagram and then I like things and that's great, but I never really reply to things mm -hmm. where on Twitter, 
I am constantly chatting back and forth with people. Mm. Well, the nice thing about Twitter too is it allows us to like retweet things, whereas Instagram you can't. It, it's harder to share something like oh. it shares to your stories, yes. but you can't yes. share it to your feed as easily. Yeah, because as you I'd can. love to share things to my feed. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, uh, Robert is on regular Twitter. Robert is amazing on Twitter. So if you need somebody to bounce things off on Twitter, please yes. do. He likes <laughs> almost everything of mine. <laughs> and I appreciate that. Um, uh, Ranger Harley said something earlier. What is the RPG platform that is preferred by most, the most by the masses here? I think generally speaking, D and D players, right? by and far and i would say probably a good mix of different dnd players like different different um what, what's the word i'm looking for different um the e the the number different um editions thank you editions <laughs> i'm like <laughs> why can't i think of the word um, but I mean, you've got five E players, you got 3.5 E players. Um, you've got, I know there's plenty of people who talk about first edition. And so there's a lot of mix, at least on blue box. Castles and crusades. Mm -hmm. Yep. Castles and crusades. I'm the lone pathfinder to E guy. So, um, but yeah, it's it's a. Uh, I would say it's it's mainly D and D. Um, the different editions of D and D on Blue Box. Right. Yeah. Which is good. Which is good. I mean, that is, um. That is the 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 popular TTRPG, and it brings people in. So. What is, uh, oh, Demiplane Nexus? So that's a great question. I've looked at that digital tool set. And I don't know. My answer is I don't know yet. Um, Robert, I, I need to look further into it. I think it could be useful. For those that don't know, um, Paizo is doing this thing called Pathfinder Nexus, which really, if you look at it, feels a little bit like D&D Beyond. Um, but I'm just not sure yet how it's but going. But it's for Pathfinder. But it's for Pathfinder, exactly. Oh, I mean. Well, specifically yeah, Pathfinder like 2E, Yeah, to be clear. Mm. See, and I have so here's the problem, Robert. I have my issues with Wizards of the Coast because they don't use the open gaming license. And I always worry when I see things like this that they're trying to pull away from the open gaming license. I don't think Paizo is. Um, I don't see Paizo as that type of company, but I'm a very big um uh, 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 proponent, not proponent. I can't think of the words Opponent. right now. Pro 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 I know. I, yeah. uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Of the open gaming license. And you're proponent right. Proponent is like the correct term for that being for it. Okay. And, and I think Paizo would lose their entire crowd. I completely agree with that. Um, because you see, if you go into any of the D and D reddits, which I do, uh, I, I'm, I'm a member of lots of different D&D, uh, TTRPG, and Pathfinder Reddits. A lot of people complain about being paywalled with a lot of the Wizard of the Coast stuff. Mm -hmm. And I understand that. And that drives me... And C&C is OGL. Yes. Castles and Crusades, same thing. That's open game license. And I I like that. People still buy the stuff. And, and I don't know who doesn't know of open gaming license, so... 
open gaming license allows more flexibility. So essentially, um, for like CNC, Castles and Crusades, and Pathfinder, um, you can take all of the material from the books, essentially, and put them on websites. Mm -hmm. And they won't come after you. Hence the reason you have something like Archives of Nethys for Pathfinder 2E, where you can read essentially the entire rule book via it. Exactly. Yep. Paizo is heavily in favor of OGL. And good evening, Zethus of Varicia. I don't know if I said that correctly. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Robert, I think you're right. <clears throat> and I don't I don't think they're gonna move away. I I'm hoping they don't move away from the OGL. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. Like, I ended up buying the entire, <laughs> the entire core rule book, and Lost Omen set when I got into it, which I could have easily just looked up online. I wish, and here's the thing: I wish D and D. I wish I could do that with D and D. I wish I could because it. I I I would. I love looking at stuff before I buy things. That's just who I am. Is is that which is nice, right? Because maybe you you read through a campaign or something. Mm -hmm. I think I'd be, I like D&D &D Beyond. I've used mm -hmm. it. I think it's very versatile as far as within their confine, their their element, right? Uh, it's it's user-friendly in that way. But there's the paywall, right? Yep. But I like physical items. Yes. I still, I still don't, and I know, I'm sorry. I still don't like MP3s or Spotify on the political reasons because because of i want the cd I, I want the tangible i want the item in my hand so if you give me open ogl to all of wizards of the coast that's great for if i run an online session but i'm not going to use it on my tabletop stuff. right right but right. that's the thing I, but i'll go through it and then i'll buy the book exactly that's exactly it i think being OGL, you are more willing to purchase the physical item because I'm a book guy. I love hard books, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, so look, just just this week, right? I got I got this in the mail. I got this <laughs> in the mail. Okay, um, yeah. And because I love having, and you're right, I love those physical copies. Yeah. And having being able to look at things before I get them, I think is just so fantastic mm -hmm. um so man we should we should tell john to do something on on ogl that would be interesting that'd be a big discussion i'm taking all the notes right now so okay. as long as he doesn't think it's like original gangster something <laughs> original gangster licensing i guess works <laughs> <laughs> robert's talking about castles and crusades I've got the Castles and Crusades Player's Handbook. I bought, I ended up buying that. So I love it. I think it's fantastic. But that's just me being dorky again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, my, my timer's going off. I'm being told we've got to wrap this thing up. Yeah, we got to go raid our friends over at uh, Lord Gazumba's Journal. And so um, I'm just reading some of these last comments here. The thing is, you've got two groups of people out there. If you're hard drive or you lose access to your accounts, you lose everything. Uh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yep. It outpaced my physical D&D &D 5e collection some time ago. Oh, yeah. No, I started with 5e, and I've still got I've got several 5e books over there, but but Pathfinder 2e ended up overtaking my... Well, you my... see, Archives of Nethys is great as a quick reference, but I want the books, too, because like if I need to look up something really quick, Archives of Nethys, oh, it's at my fingertips, but at mm -hmm. the same time, if I want to yeah. like actually do in-depth stuff, like campaign building i definitely want to be able to have the books on my hands yes hand. yeah see i see it the opposite way um zethos um i i view it as as wanting the books after looking at it so yep. that's just to me <laughs> all right folks first off i want to thank you all for coming out tonight uh minus john unfortunately but he'll be back uh come sunday with uh new rune lords uh Indeed. session and then on tuesday of next week we've got uh uh, Greyhawk uh, Death uh, Throws, I mean Greyhawk Awakening, and then next week we have our 
wonderful uh, Lore Master Arcanum where they'll be talking about something, something, and something other. Yeah, exactly that. Make sure you check out Blue Box Con 2022. It's at Tabletop Events uh, backslash conventions backslash there it is. Uh, Make sure you get signed up. Join us. And uh, thank you all for hanging around and chit chatting with us. Yep. We're gonna right. we're gonna raid some peeps. Oh, and real quick before we go, because we didn't do this last night and we need to do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you're watching and you haven't followed yet, or if you're following and you haven't subscribed, or if you have committed the greatest of sins and you have let your subscription lapse, we have one question for you. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, rating now. Zethos, that is a live con. Yes, in person. All right, bye everyone. Have fun over on Jay's channel. Bye. Okay, I'm stopping stream.